The purpose of this podcast is to explain the foundational steps in femoral and tibial cuts in preparation for a total knee. The instructor has 25 years of orthopedic experience. Hopefully you'll find this educational podcast informative and use this tool to review and refresh your skills as needed. The primary reason we do a total knee replacement is for osteoarthritis and degenerative joint disease. There are two different deformities patients uh, will acquire. One of them is a varus deformity, where patients get osteoarthritis on the medial side and become very bow-legged. The other one is a valgus deformity, where they get osteoarthritis on the lateral side of the knee and get very knock knee. Our knee has three different compartments. We have a medial compartment, a lateral compartment, and a patellofemoral compartment, or our kneecap. For the purpose of this video, we will be doing two of the primary cuts. We'll be doing the medial and lateral side for the femoral and the tibial cuts. For the saw bone purposes, we do not have the patellofemoral uh, available to us at this time. <clears throat> the first thing we do is we take a rod and a drill and we drill into the femoral canal. This femoral canal is in, we put the rod up the canal. <clears throat> this rod is now doing, going up the canal for the anatomical axis, so this rod is following up the canal. We are not on the same line as the mechanical axis. The mechanical axis is a line directly from the center of your hip through the center of your knee down through the center of your ankle. In order to achieve this cut, we need to align this first femoral jig at about six degrees off because this anatomical axis and the mechanical axis are not parallel. They're off about six degrees from each other. So we will, this first jig, as we put it on, very side specific. So this is a left jig for a left knee. We will set it at about six degrees. And as that jig is in place, we will then pin this. The reason for this is <clears throat> when we make this cut, is we need this very first cut. Everything is based off the first cut. When this is cut parallel to the anatomical axis, so this axis now, when it is cut parallel to this, this is what is parallel with the knee cut and also be parallel with, with the ground. <clears throat> so this is coming in. We have now set the jig at six degrees off, so it is now perpendicular to the anatomical or the mixer mechanical axis. We will then pin this into place. Once that is in place, we can now remove the intramedullary rod. This is called a capture, or it will control the saw blade as we use the saw to make this first cut. first cut, hopefully we have now made this parallel to the ground and six degrees off our anatomical or mechanical axis. These saw bones are very, very realistic as far as bone consistency. Once that flat cut has been made, we now need to know what size the patient is. This is a femoral sizer. As we put this in, we want to center it. We'll center it a little more later. And then we pin it into place. that's pinned into place, those pins do two things for us. It will set external rotation for our femoral component, which will help uh, telefemoral <clears throat> alignment later, and then this also helps us size it. So we have a sizing device here, and 
then these pins will also help us with, you'll see where the pin will block it again. So those pin holes are now for these pegs on the back of the thermal cutting block. And then these also can be pinned into place to secure for the saw. total knee replacement. These saw cuts are taking off a minimum amount of bone and we are not cutting a significant amount of bone off. We are basically shaving the arthritis off of the bone so that we can recap the distal femur. All the, fem the femoral cuts have now been prepared. This is a femoral trial which will now go on. This femoral trial has two holes in it which we will prepare for the pegs of the real implant. The real femoral implant has pegs on the back to control rotation. It's so the femoral component has now been prepared for.